guys, we are so happy that we are all on live again. It's me, Eunice. And Casper, and you know our collaboration is wonderful. So you're gonna be super, super entertained for the next hour or so where we sure. talk about all about cleansing. So that's gonna be the topic for today. And it's not gonna be just fun, but it's gonna be very informative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think you guys will love it and you guys will definitely tune in until the end. Um, thank you so much. We're gonna have Q and A's in between. So be on the lookout for that. All right, well, before we get into everything, let me just talk about this, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we think about cleansing as, okay, it's very important, but usually when we want to improve our skin, we think about our cleanse skincare routine more important yeah, than just true. cleansing. We don't really think about cleansing as that crucial Treatment. step. Mm. Yeah, 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 for sure. But it's very, very important. I think doing the uh, choosing the right cleansers plus having the right method and knowing how to properly use each type of cleansers is so important for your skin to become healthier mm -hmm. and your skin to become more beautiful and also thanks to that your makeup can go on more smoothly and it'll just be a necessary thing that we need Mm -hmm. So we're really happy that we're gonna be talking about cleansers because I think everybody we talk about the you know the skincare routine and this and that but it's very very important that you use uh, and you do the cleansing step properly so I think That's you right. should actually think of it as the first step of skincare yeah it's yeah. like it's even before toner it's like the first step yeah I think in Korea the thing is uh, the bad thing is that there's so much pollution these days mm. and there's so much fine dust. It's and crazy. It's get, getting really crazy, right? Yeah, and you can just feel like mm. after you come home, you can just feel it like stuck on your face. You know what I mean? Exactly. And then you can feel it just irritating your skin. And afterwards, it just causes so much skin trouble. But as we know, we think of our skin as it functions, as it kind of breathes, right? Mm. It breathes in, yeah. it breathes out. Mm -hmm. So that's why we think, okay, it soaks in all the dust. Mm -hmm. However, that's not the case. The case that the dust actually gets stuck into our you know, pores and hair follicles is when you have access sebum plus when you don't thoroughly cleanse your skin. Mm. Then that are the cases where you're actually the fine dust and the gunk gets stuck in your pores. And that can cause breakouts, blackheads, mm. and so many skin Troubles. problems. Definitely. So I think it's really important that we keep in mind that it's really important to cleanse thoroughly. And yeah. So, but could cleansing isn't just, you know, like using like a dishwashing soap. Like, you know what I mean? It's not just any soap. Mm -hmm. You need to have the right cleansing material oh. or like um, ingredient or whatever. Yeah. So, um, it's really important to choose the right thing for your skin type and have a good cleansing mm. routine for nighttime and daytime. It's, it could be different, you know? Definitely. Um, if you're a person that wears a lot of makeup, then you need a good cleansing routine at nighttime. Mm. And if you have really sensitive skin, you don't wear a lot of makeup even your morning care routine could just be like bruising on like water oh. so yeah it's really important to choose the right cleansing method yeah for sure i think that's very very important and, okay so we recommend using like a cleansing oil or a soap like this that is really gentle on your skin and it doesn't like rip out all the moisture so the calamine in this actually mm. moisturizes your skin and creates like a barrier after mm. so it's even better and if you don't have like if you have really dry skin then i recommend just you know mildly cleansing your face using this cleansing mm. oil because it doesn't leave any oiliness or residue Definitely. afterwards okay. any calzy so i'm gonna talk about oil cleansers from all the cleansers i personally really wanted to introduce you to the oil cleansers mm. because i feel like oil cleansers are used really often by a lot of people as the first step of cleansing, as the first cleanser too. Oil is really, really great because it melts away, it dissolves um, sebum. That's mm. the, I think there are not many type of cleansers out there that can actually dissolve um, oil together. Mm -hmm. You could explain. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, prepare your hand. Oh, okay, okay, got you. She's gonna, okay, she's gonna start and I can't do two things at the same time, so I might be very distracted, but it's okay. Yeah, but anyway, that's... Yeah, one of the things I really like oils is that be, it uh, just dissolves um, the sebum and blackheads away while uh, it helps to remove all the makeup and all the gunk and all the impurities off of your skin really well. And one other thing what why I really like oil cleansers is because it kind of forms a slight, very thin layer of film, uh, a moisture film. So afterwards, your face doesn't feel really dry and you know that pulling feeling that you yeah. After you use a cleanser, it's like that. 
uh, you know that it just stripped your skin away from the moisture. It doesn't have that. So that's why I personally really like oil cleansers. And we want to recommend oil cleansers for dry skin types. Mm. Because once your skin becomes really really dry that's when a lot of skin problems start happening when once your skin is dry then it can cause so many skin concerns so and it can break down the oil and uh, moisture balance of your skin and it can bring your skin down to a really bad healthy con uh, not healthy condition so keep in mind to always um, for those of you with dry skin types to choose and look for uh, oil uh, cleansers to keep your skin moisturized and at the same time cleanse it thoroughly Okay, so I'm going to be introducing you to Claire's Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. And this is one of my favorites. I think if I get lazy, I do go to like mm. cleansing water and tissues. Yeah. And then I always come back to it because I feel like uh, using every different types of uh, cleansers, I could feel that this irritates my skin the less. Um, and it's really great and it's very mild and this has natural oils in there that it really helps to just overall cleanse your face really really mildly and i like uh, the fact that it's uh, how should i say it emulsifies really easily with water hold on let's go a little bit this way okay okay i think you love me a lot so you are like on my side mm -hmm. but anyways and i don't like oil cleansers that doesn't rinse off too you know well with just single water yeah. but this emulsifies with water so well That's so true yeah so i wanted to show you right now we're gonna get about two to three pumps or whatever pumps you need mm -hmm. uh, but right now dun, da, dun, 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 dun. we have a face full of highlighter foundation and eyeliner and we're gonna see how this cleanses off okay so we're gonna Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so casper has this water for us mm -hmm. and we're ready okay mm -hmm. okay we're gonna get the cam ready y'all do you see this little face everybody my name is casper oh that's cute <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do it for you guys okay maybe i think two bumps bumps Pumps. pumps will be enough oh look at that dun, 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 you guys that dun, dun, eyeliner dun. is really really heavy like it's like those really hard on eyeliners it's the vdl ones so it, it's it's really hard to get off but look look how just gently it removed everything and then let me show you one thing so you would do this on your face right mm. and then splash some water like mm -hmm. that and then do you see it gets a little bit white mm -hmm. so it, Ew, oh look 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 at look, look at that that's so gross so it just everything removes really well and it's really moisturizing as well and you can see that it isn't like too greasy or anything it's just emulsifying really well with the water yeah do you see this like dripping hey, look, we have like 45 people on facebook yay, yay! if we reach to 300 then we're gonna get free shipping coupon for everybody so please be on the lookout <gasps> it okay. got rid of all it got rid of my face look at that i know that was kind of cute though Aww. okay perfect do you see and even afterwards like it's not like slippery or greasy it just Aww. feels really nice right look at that okay Ready? I'm gonna now wipe it off. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. So, so again, like we mentioned, mm. after we hit 300 people, we give you guys a special benefit where you guys can order. I think just like even like two products or one product and like an accessory, yeah. and you get like free shipping. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's crazy, cray, 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 cray. Okay, crazy. So now that we've talked about cleansing oil, mm -hmm. we need this water friend in front of me because guess what we're gonna talk about next? Now. Mm. The best soap to use for cleansing and for your face is natural soap because yeah. natural soaps don't contain, you know, hardeners or surfactants and all these bad chemicals that could irritate your skin. And also it contains good, 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 um, you know, substances like glycerin, which is made in the process, yeah. used in the process of making soaps, soaps. And it creates like a moisture barrier on mm, your face. Mm, mm. So um, I am going to talk about a awesome, awesome soap that is good for trouble. Oh my God, this bug is all over. I bet you this is the mosquito. Okay, um, yeah, that's really good for uh, trouble prevention as well. Yeah. So this is the calamine soap. I'm gonna show you guys the pretty one and then show, uh, demonstrate with the used one. So okay. this is the calamine soap. I and love this the is, color. Mm, I love the color. It's like this baby pink color. It's like her hat. <laughs> This way? Okay, this way? A little bit more? Okay. Now you need to love me more. Okay. But anyways, yeah, so this soap contains calamine, mm. um, which is excellent for calming the skin. Mm. You know, I'm sure you've heard about it in a lot of like acne care products. And it contains a lot, 
a lot of yerma mate, verma mate, and argan oil and natural polyphenols, um, which doesn't irritate your skin yeah. and keeps your skin moisturized. Yeah, I think a lot of people really like this soap mm. and a lot of people actually don't know that sometimes that Claire's has soaps, but they do. And the charcoal soap and the calamine soap and the body soap, mm. I think they're really, really popular. I like this one mm. the best because I have dry skin and mm. it soothes dry and sensitive skin. So right. it's, you know how sometimes after using like a really strong cleanser, your mm. face can turn red? Yeah. Um, it doesn't do that. So I'm going to mm. use, dip this soap in water. Can yes. you show us? Yes. Okay. Can you see us? Yes. Okay. So Good. I'm going to lather it. Ooh, nice. But the thing I love about the soap is even though it doesn't contain any like harmful chemical surfactants, it lathers really well. Just give me a second. I'll show you guys like the foaminess of this. Yeah, let's do that. And it's so pretty. I, I like the pink one. Mm. And also, for, for people with dry skin and sensitive skin like me, using a soap like this really, really, really helps with like um, soothing and calming your skin. Yeah. And I like using this as the second cleanser. So like using a cleansing oil or, or whatever water. as the first yeah. cleanser and then me the too, second, too. right? Mm. Mm. I'm nearly done. Hold on. Okay. And I really like lathering this up a lot and mm. getting this like foaminess. Do you guys see this? Yeah. I think right now this is a new one. That's oh. why it just... Um, it takes a little bit longer to foam up, but if you get some water, I think it'll foam up more. Yeah, this is how I like to use it though, because oh. ah, like, you like uh, the thick, uh, thick, uh, uh, thick uh, uh, one. Because uh. it really acts like like almost like a clay feeling, like Got foaming you. thing. But if you just want to like you know wash it fast and just get some water and it works. But uh. I really really like the foaminess of it after you you know lather it up for a long time. Right. So after this, apply the foam on your face with water and roll your fingers gently and cleanse thoroughly. Mm -mm. So you know on your face where you have like um, blackheads or like these little like sebum, sebumous places, oh. um, on those areas use the soap and create bubbles and roll it around. Okay. You, you know the texture of this like foam feels really 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 smooth and soft so yeah. I think it's really gentle on the yeah. skin. Let's wash it off now and see. I'm having so much fun. Because okay. <laughs> we have another soap to introduce, mm. that's why. So yeah. So look at this. Hold on. I just want to like show them the bubbly lather. Yeah, like that it could bu bubble up much more. Mm. It's just, just it's just depends on preference. For me, I just like the really thick foam, but it's, it lathers really easily. Mm. So anyways, yeah, my skin feels really, really clean, but also it doesn't feel like it's stripped of all its moisturizerness. And your textures are really cute. I know, right? Oh. Maybe I should like get more. I'm kidding. No. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're gonna now switch off right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's like playing with this. She's no, like, but like, but like, my skin, like, we need clean water, someone. <laughs> like, I Here. keep washing my hand with uh -oh. like soap right now. Oh, you got my mom. Okay. All right. So we're gonna, um, Jay's gonna help us uh, switch this off. Thank you so much. And then we're gonna introduce you to the next soap, which is charcoal soap. And this was actually a free gift recently um, for the deal that we did for 24th W uh, Wish Try Love. Mm -hmm. And the reason was that it really is effective in controlling sebum and getting rid of the gunk mm -hmm. and Black leftovers. Heads. Definitely uh, off of your skin. So I wanted to show you right off the bat. Actually, this is the used one, but this is a Claire's charcoal soap, and a lot of oily skin types really love this soap. Mm. So you can use uh, the cleansing oil, and then as a second cleanser, a lot of people use this. And the charcoal powder that is uh, contained in this soap is just everyone's favorites because it kind of absorbs the sebum really well and mm -hmm. it helps to control sebum and the, it helps also the production of your um, sebum um, also. Thank you so much. And we have another one. And right now I do feel a little bit iffy because you know I just did it with the oil. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you Hold right on. off the bat. <laughs> she wants to I rinse need, everything off. Water. Yeah, I know no, what you mean. No, but it smells so good. Another thing, I really like the leftover scent. Mm, it gives like this it's light so aroma-y, like um, soapy smell. Okay, anyways. It kind of smells like Oh, it's very mild though, oh, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna go with the charcoal soap, and then when Casper's ready, she's gonna hold the camera for me. So. Oh, and my hand Ooh, is I might. Oh, damn! Water. I was gonna drop it in the water. But... That would have been funny. Okay, all right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, thank you Currently, so much. Currently, we have a total of 140 people that are joining in with us. It's so close, so we just need 150 more. All right. So 
this like I told you um, because it really controls sebum well. I don't think it's um, as hydrating the finish as yeah, the Calumet one, but it's really good also. And it doesn't have that pooling feeling, but it's so effective in just removing all the gunk out of your pores and even blackheads and dirt. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna drop it here. Look how it just foams up so easily and it slathers a lot of foam. Mm -hmm. And some people, like my grandma, right? She came over and she's like, oh, I don't like black soaps. Cause you know, she's like conservative, she's old. So she didn't know that it's good for like your, you know, controlling sebum and things like that. But look, the foam itself is not black yeah. or gray. So you don't have to um, worry too much if you don't like the color black. And look at this. It foams up really easily. It is wonderful. Yes, and I feel like I felt a little bit iffy after the oil cleanser in the here, but now I feel like it's done. And so I highly want to want to recommend it for oily skin types. Mm. So for those of you with oily skin types that feel like I really need something to help control sebum production and blackheads and to just tighten your pores too, then this is really good. Yeah, so we have like a question from Nabiha mm. Begum who says, which soap do you recommend for oily and teenage skin? For the reasons that Yunusongi explained right mm -hmm. now, we definitely recommend this charcoal soap and it really helps with sebum control, which will prevent any teenage acne and stuff like that. Okay, perfect. Sisu -si. Thank you, muchas gracias. Can I leave the camera? Okay. okay. I can leave the camera. Oh, there's no more. Okay, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? Okay. Okay, so oily skin types, we recommend the powder type cleanser. Ah, you said my secret! Okay. I'm sorry, but because this is a sample and it's gonna be launched very soon in November. Mm, sometime in yes. November. Yes, and it's gonna be by by Wish Trends. And I personally really like powder um, washes because when I used to go to clinics and stuff, they used to always use like the powder like cleansing for exfoliating. So they said, since you have a really, really sensitive skin, then we wanna recommend that you use uh, this type of powder type of exfoliator. Mm -hmm. So it cleanses your skin really well while exfoliating mildly. So this can be used as a daily, uh, powder washes can be used as a daily, um, how should I say, cleansers, but even two to three times a week is enough. So I will kind of mix it up with the, the cleanser that you're currently using too. And I think Casper is more excited to tell you about it. What type of cleansers are there? You know, you have your mm. foam cleansers, oil mm. cleanser, cleansing waters, cleansing wipes. Mm. But I would think that something that contains an exfoliating factor mm -hmm. while cleansing thoroughly would be the best thing, right? Right. So this is a cleansing powder and mm. a powder type basically helps you scrub and cleanse at the same time. Mm. So when this powder texture is mixed with water, um, it lathers and creates bubbles mm. and this helps cleanse the skin. Okay. So it removes the dead skin cells on the yeah. surface because of the scrubbing effect really? and therefore it softens your skin as well. Yeah. So it could be basically used as an exfoliator and a scrub. Okay. So this is the, uh, I, I, like, uh, this is the sample. Like we're giving you like the deepest insights of our baby. I know. So oh. you guys are the first ones to actually like see it and for see. us to show you kind of. But the product will be called Virus Trend Green Tea and Enzyme Powder Wash. Mm. So can you guys um, show, show, um, can, can you show them? Where's the camera? Oh, okay, I got yeah. you. So basically this is the green tea powder wash. It's like mm. line from Virus Trend and mm. it's going to launch very, very soon. And if you see, so let's just say that the back of my hand is my face. After applying water to it, mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like use a uh, lukewarm water and then I'm going to get some of the powder. And basically this removes um, any excess dirt and stuff like that without irritating your skin. Mm. So do you guys see that? Yeah. I so I'm not mixing it thoroughly right now just to guys show you guys the texture. Ah, okay, gotcha. Um, these granules are basically what helps exfoliate it. And once you start working it in. Right, so I'm gonna. I want to show you how I I use it, mm -hmm. and how, that's how Casper. Um, you can use it like this to kind of um, accent the how should I say the granules? Yeah, the like the scrubbing effect. Yes, because I really like how it gets rid of all the yes. makeup and stuff like that. And mm. then afterwards, the granules all melt, mm. and then you can wash it off. Yes, and I think we need to change the water sometimes. Soon. Yes, um, and can we get some tissue, please, too? The yeah, thank you, and then. After you wipe it a little bit, can we show them? I will show them how I do it. Hold on. Oh. Okay. You okay? 
this. Okay. All right, the water's a little bit dirty, but we're gonna switch it now. All right, um, one more time, I'm gonna show you. Okay. All right, thank you so much. All right, so this is how I do it. So how I do it is I get about like this much, and I just put water, and then it just starts lathering up. So I kind of use it like that because I feel like I have really sensitive skin at times. So I want to kind of melt away everything first and then put it on my face. Mm. So yeah, I like using it this way. So I wanted to show you two different ones. All right. So these are the two ways to use this. Yeah. And basically um, what this can do is it helps get rid of light makeup, like mm, light mm. makeup and it waterproof makeup. When you have waterproof makeup, I would recommend using like some other, you know, right. waterproof makeup remover. But mm. besides that, it removes it pretty well. And also um, we could, you know, recommend this for oily and acne prone skin, dry skin, everyone. Mm. And it does not, um, mm. it does not contain any surfactants. Yep. So um, this doesn't Ooh. lather up a lot, mm, but it you. does cleanse thoroughly. And what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. And we need to cleanse the water first. Huh. Mm, okay. Definitely. So, burn your skin, put just heat up. All right. Nice. So, um, it doesn't dry out your skin, mm. and it leaves your skin feeling super clean, but also moisturized. And you know, a lot of people are not used to powder washes, so we wanted to show you like the how tos too, because I think a lot of people um they're not used to it, so they'll be like, how do you really mm. use it, or like. What does it really do and what are the best parts of it so that's why we wanted to show you um today and i thought we thought it would be the perfect time to um include it in because we're t giving you different types of cleansers mm -hmm. and how to properly use them so but i'm so excited about this i hope that it could come out faster someone's but... asking you know is the green tea mm. um cleanser you know suitable or su Oh, suitable for combination skin yes like we mentioned we recommend this powder wash for Perfect. all skin types all mm. skin types you know and can i use that powder thing even if i have pimples mm. we recommend it if you have pimples because it helps thoroughly cleanse and get in between all the crevices yeah. to prevent breakouts let's get it so right. the next type of cleansing right. product oh i'm so happy to introduce you to this uh this was actually on uh the previous episode of just talk up uh -huh. so um this is skin missiles rice foam cleansing mm -hmm. and before i talk about into details about this product i wanted to let you know i think everybody uses foam cleanser at the moment i think if you say oh please the, raise your hand the crazy thing is i have this at home like a my sink like that like right there huh right there oh so i think foam cleansers are usually the most common type of cleansers and usually i i bet you in this room more than half of people are using foam cleansers at the moment instead of the you know powder washes or this mm -hmm. washes or that washes the reason may be is because number one it thoroughly cleanses your skin and number two it doesn't leave your skin dry it keeps the moisture and usually that's why a lot of foam cleansers are loved by so many people and another thing is because it lathers up a lot of foam and thick bubbles uh, it causes less irritation to your skin because your hand is here your skin is here but the bubble is in between really giving you that cushion and support as it won't irritate your skin as much so that's why today we wanted to introduce you to the Skin Missile Rice um, Foam Cleansing out of all the foam cleansers on Wish Trend because we feel like oh, <laughs> this girl's getting ready for me. Uh -huh. Okay, can you hold it for me? Yes. And then we'll, okay. Let's show them the texture while you're explaining. It. Yes, let's do that. Okay, ready? And I don't even need much for this um, Skin Missile Cleanser. And because this has rice in it, it really helps with brightening too. Not just thoroughly cleansing your skin, but it's great for brightening your overall skin um, as well. And I feel like after I use this, my tone, skin tone looks really oh. amazing. And it's suitable for all skin types uh, because foam cleansers have really, look at that. Look at that really uh, high moisture contents but low uh, oil content and it can be re just used just this itself can be used to remove even makeup and pores as well mm. but i i you know i just like double cleansing so i recommend that you use something else but this removes makeup too look at this let me put more water in it, it foams up even more so look at this thick mm. bubble you can even hear it, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. ASMR. It got on your phone, huh? Uh, okay. ASMR. Yeah. So look at that. Ooh. Oh. So do not scrub your face strongly, but rather gently massage the face. Okay. With the hand. Okay. 
Am I doing something? Uh, the screen. Lower your hand a little okay. bit. Okay. Yes, thank you. All right. Yeah. So this is suitable for all skin types because foam cleansers, again, have high moisture content. Yes. And let me show you how it feels afterwards. So, 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 oh, so quick. It just feels really nice. Like yes. that. And you can even see, like, your skin tone looks all fabulous. Oh, I could really see that right off the mm -hmm. bat, huh? Okay. So, mm. shall we answer a question? Some Q&As for you guys. Do you guys have any questions about skin mist or foam cleansers? So, mm. Karsha May says, mm. what is the pH of the powder cleanser, though? Oh, okay. So, where's the powder wash? This is, the pH is 5.5. Mm. And I think a lot of people really um, are curious about the pH. So please ask away about any products. If we don't know currently, they will um, look for know. it and we'll let you know. So, all right. So let's move on to the next product. And this is, this is from Claire's. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, this is from Casper. Yeah. The Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. So this has already come on the screen um, um, a couple of times. Yes. But... Yes. Um, yeah, so basically this is a foaming mm. cleanser that has a foaming effect on the container itself mm. So you don't have to lather or anything. It mm. just comes out like this and it comes like really like it feels like Very whipped good. cream Yeah, um, and basically this is the most convenient and it thoroughly wipes your face like mm. using all this foam And it cleans out the dirt inside your pores and keeps your skin slightly acidic after using it. Right. So it matches your pH, skin's pH level. Mm. And after cleansing, instead of your skin feeling tight, it makes your skin feel moisturized. Mm. So. I didn't even help you out. It's okay. Oh, don't put it in yet. Why? We didn't see, show oh. the... Ready? Okay. I mean, I just love the feeling of this cleanser because it's so soft. And I like it because you don't have to work for it, you mm. know? It's just... Psh, it helps alleviate whiteheads caused by keratin and you could use this as a second cleanser during your skincare routine to balance oil and this is very very mild mm. so like with all cleansers after wetting your face just apply this foam and spread it through your face evenly mm. and wash thoroughly using um, lukewarm water and okay. the skin type is i would say mostly recommended for sensitive skin because this is really really gentle mm. and it helps exfoliate your skin without causing irritation so if you use, for example, a vitamin C serum or an AHA product the night before, yeah. you could use this the next day to help clean your skin. In the morning, right? Yep. And it helps get rid of BB cream and sun cream, sunblock as well. So it's perfect. And I even like lathering it up even more and look at all this like. Mm. It gets thicker, huh? Oh. You like that one. Huh? I really like thick foam, guys, because it really feels like it's washing away all the make makeup and excess dirt out of my face. Mm. So I really like the texture of this. Okay. Alrighty. I'm done. Stuck. Can we can we get a refill on the water? Yes, please. At first of all, the Claire's Calamin soap is also great for acne, and then sadly it hasn't launched yet. But this is really effective for your acne too. This is gonna be a highly recommended for acne prone skin also because the powder and enzyme works to just um, exfoliate your skin mildly, preventing any acne or any skin troubles. And then we also want to recommend you to this product too, Claire's Rich Moist Foaming, Foaming Cleanser. Personally, for me, this is my favorite. I keep on coming back to it. I go to like Skin Miso and I go to the soaps and I think I always come back to this because it just does its job mm. and it's so mild. Mm. And yeah, and sometimes when I'm lazy, I don't want to lather up the foam, then it just makes sense to go with this one. But yes, so all three are really great for acne prone skin types. So great question. Thank you so much. All right. So we are at our last baby. Oh, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Oh, we're, it felt iffy, right? Okay. We're at our last baby. Mm -mm -mm. So now that we're talked about... <laughs> what? Are you okay? I'm okay. Now that we've <laughs> talked about all the different types of cleansers, we have one mm. more, one more of mm. texture. Guess what it is. Guess, 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 guess. It's something that maybe that you haven't guessed, but maybe that you have guessed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's something that isn't very common, but once you get into using it, you'll yeah, be addicted. Yeah, and you'll really like mm. it. 
And then it's a little bit different because you have to use this um, after your cleansing step. So yeah. it is a little bit different. So you need to thoroughly cleanse your face after you need to dry your face and then use it. But usually we're gonna talk about right now gel type of cleansers. Gel cleanser. Gel type of cleansers are really really important because it's of course it's unique, mm -hmm. but it's very very mild. Mm -hmm. And one thing is that it doesn't lather up that much foam or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So how should I say it? You don't need the all the you know work to you know rinse everything off mm -hmm. and it works really well so i'm gonna show you the gel type of cleanser right now right off the bat and it's dr vita clinic gentle vita exfoliator guys i love how it looks like mm -hmm. for me aesthetics is everything and mm -hmm. this thing is so cute yeah it's so, like this peachy color yeah and i think a lot of people really love skin and lab too and i'm gonna show you right off the bat but i need to dry my skin first so let me dry my skin first because you need to wash your face and then fully dry it. 170 days, we're closing to oh, 200. Oh man, we're almost there. Come on guys, we can do it. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna move on. And this type of uh, exfoliator is really great. It's a gel type and there's five different uh, vitamins in here. And look at this, I wanna show you the, you can't really see the capsules, huh? The tiny capsules. Do you think you can see the tiny capsules? Oh, you can see it, huh? Like, hold on, right here. Mm -hmm. Do you see the orange little ones? So what you do, you don't even need this much. I just wanted to show you the capsules itself. And it has five different types of vitamins in there. And the capsules right now is vitamin E capsules. And this is what you do. You just put like an appropriate amount, maybe that much. And then you just work your way. And after a while, after you start rubbing like that for about 20 seconds you're gonna see what happens but what you call this is basically uh i would like to call it te. in korean we call it te, yeah. but it starts you know like rinsing off and peeling off all the dirt and gunk so look at that hold on it's gonna start coming trust me it gets really gross though oh i feel it uh, it's Ooh, i can really feel it Ew. Maybe I'll show you here. Ew, do you see that? Do you guys see that? Ew. Basically, her dead skin cells. Yeah, and I think because I washed off my hands too many times with the soap, it didn't work. But coming to this, my arm right now, this is so gross. This is all the dead skin cells and gunk. And for those of you who really wanted to get rid of everything that's stuck in your pores and hair follicles, You'll really like this. Look at that. It is so gross. So for skin type recommendations, we would recommend oily, dry, and dull skin types. And yes. it is possible to use as a remover for light makeup, for base makeup as well. Oh. And you only need to do this for about 20 seconds and you feel this coming up. And ooh, look at that. Mm. This there, right? This mm -hmm. dirt's right here. Yeah. And after this how uh, comes up, you just have to rinse it off with water. That's it. You don't have to wash it off with the cleanser again. But all you have to do is just rinse off. And just automatically, I could feel that my skin is so much softer, the mm -hmm. texture itself. And then because it has vitamins in there, it brightens my skin tone. Look at that. Mm. So we, like um, Casper mentioned, we highly want to recommend it for oily, dry, and dual skin types. Okay. I know, so we've introduced all types of cleansers right now and the proper method to use them. All right. So, oh, Casper, thank you so much for joining us. It's always fun to do lives with you. And, me too. And I was so happy today because I felt like it's fun, but it was very informative too. Yeah, I mm -hmm. feel like everyone who needed like answers to cleansing could have oh. gotten like any, like, because we gave it for all different skin types, right. all different methods, mm. and all different products. Yeah, and I know that a lot of people, I mean, we have so many beauty girls at Wish Trends already that we do focus on cleansing, but some people, People, they think of cleansing as not really important and they will use like for example they will use just like their moms or anything oh. that's at the house for yeah. cleansing but they would like pay money for the skincare Terrible products life. right but it's really important mm. to actually use the right cleansing product the thing that might be breaking you out yeah. might not be your you know makeup or your, your skincare products it could be your cleansing routine Definitely. so really 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 work this into your everyday um yeah routine, routine. routine. Yeah. as your first step of skincare 
Yes. See, my beautiful people. Okay, so we just want to say thank you so much for tuning in until the very end. And we just want to give shout outs to everyone that's here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Oh, there's like a Chinese name that I can't read, but thank you. Press like and subscribe. That will just like lead to the way of the free coupon. Yes, thank you guys so much. Okay, so do we say bye to... Bye! Oh. Bye to Mamo! Bye Feline! Bye Mason! Bye Patil! You guys are wonderful and lovely and I love you guys. And bye Cassie! Bye Laura! Bye Monica! Bye Nazreen! Bye Joshua! Bye! Bye Hadir! 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 Bye! Bye Boon! Bye Tamamo! And now I'm gonna kidnap Unisani okay. and like love her. Okay. Amanda, bye bye! Bye guys! Bye Amanda! See you next bye! Time. bye. bye.